The Iowa Environmental Council has been in existence for 14 years. Our mission is for a safe, healthy environment and sustainable future for Iowa. We focus our efforts on public education and coalition building in order to give Iowans a voice on issues that affect their quality of life. We represent 80 or so member organizations. We have individual members, and through those organizations and members, we touch approximately 80,000 people in the state. Why would the Iowa Environmental Council find it helpful in your work to be involved with a network of organizations like RAMP? REAMP offers a great deal of knowledge and information sharing, networking. Uh, they offer us the ability to, I think, enhance our in-state collaborations. Uh, REAMP offers us the opportunity to expand our media capability and media opportunities if you will. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't say fundraising um, in what they do and and I, I think the collaborative um, approach and tactics allow us to both meet our goals as well as the regional collaborative goals that are the essence of REAMP. Every organization in RAMP, there's over 60 of them, bring you know, something really kind of key and unique to the, to the whole. It's almost like if you were making a quilt, it's sort of like these different patches and they, they kind of form together and, and make the strength of the RAMP network. So kind of given that, what is it that Iowa Environmental Council brings to the RAMP network of organizations that's really unique? Well, I, I would say one of the key ingredients of the Iowa Environmental Council is its coalition building. So through our member organizations and partners, we bring their talents as well as the council's reputation for sound, solid, scientific, reasonable solutions to that reamp process. Uh, I think we also bring um, a good relationship, an existing good relationship that we have with Iowa media, Iowa legislators, as well as Iowa state agencies to the process as well. Every four years, there's this huge, big, clean spotlight that's shown on Iowa. Um, and that even more so this, this year due to all of the jockeying back and forth with dates. What's that like? And, and how do you think that that's going to be beneficial not only to the council but to reamp as a whole? Well, what's it like? It's crazy. Um, there's a lot happening. Um, I think what it does for Iowa and hopefully for REAMP is it puts Iowa in front of the nation and it gives us an opportunity through our partners and our messenger training, for example, to bring the climate change solutions to the, to the nation. A lot of your members going to be involved in trying to get not only the environment but climate change solutions in particular as part of the presidential dialogue. Do you think not only are you doing it now, but will you be doing it at the actual caucuses? And do you think it's making a difference? I think it is making a difference. I know our member organizations have been working very hard to organize the grassroots and train them with the appropriate messages and have made great success in candidate intercepts that have posed the right questions and actually caused candidates to take a stand publicly on an issue and if you track that those candidates have moved over time to positions that I think support what REAMP is trying to do. What's your favorite grain? Well to be politically correct I'd have to say corn but if the truth were known it's a toss-up between barley and hops. Because? They, they make beer. <laughs>
and I like hoppy beer. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <laughs>